No, is why I was wanting to know about the 55 year secret is. Well, evidently it is because you uh, gave her up for adoption without them even knowing. Them who? Marvin and them. Oh, Marvin knew. He didn't want it. It was all his idea. He didn't want another kid. So you're saying it was Marvin's idea? He didn't want the kid to, to, to take care of her. Ah, because Beth got a hold of me today. Beth who? Elizabeth, my okay. stepsister. Elizabeth, I just said that. I don't know. I Marvin's know. and yours daughter. I just, that might not be. Yes, she took an ancestry DNA test with Marvin. She's your blood. My stepsister. Well, I was going to that ancestry DNA, okay? You're just going to skirt around the subject of not telling me anything about anything. As far as I know, he is. Do you know Margot? I mean, yeah. Did he know Margot passed away? Well, they probably do now, cause I told him. I told Elizabeth today. Well, I'm sorry. I'm but. But anyways, I was just wondering about it because we're going down there to see her this next week. Yeah, that is. That's where we're going down there where she lives. She lives in Quanah. Yes. Okay. She was about three years old. I mean, Margo. About three years old when I found out I was pregnant again. Okay. Marvin did not want to know when he had to take care of. I don't care what he says. He's got out of his life. He kids are truck. So, when I had the baby, he wasn't in there. So, of course, mother jumped right on that. She didn't want to take care of another one either. They were already raising Mark, you know that, right? And they, most of us, because we worked very well. I wasn't very old when I had all those kids. Anyway, so, uh, where was it? Oh, yeah. So, he wasn't working. He was working one job and then another and then another and like that, okay? Uh, Elizabeth, is that really you? I'm sorry, darling. Yes. There's a baby hunting here. And, uh, he... You know, I often wondered all my life if I could find her. I was hoping she was uh, adopted, or some, adopted by somebody that, that uh, I was imagining her in my head as someone that could play with the animal. Man, someone that maybe one day when she grew up. Go. Someone that would be in some kind of business, maybe with the government, you know, or like that. And she made, she turned out very well. So what she did, did she turn out very well? Well, yeah. And she just put her stepmother in a nursing home for acting like you. Yes. Pretty much. She little? Yes. Good. No good that she loves her mother. Well, enough to put her in a nursing home because she was from, she's not a very nice lady, I guess, is what I've gathered. Uh -oh. 
But she, she could have had her good moments and bad moments, but. Growing up? Yes. Oh, dear. Elizabeth's at it. I'm sorry. Doug, Douglas had his good moments and bad moments, moments too. Growing up. This is her, most of you. Yeah. I learned about her, that baby, forever. All I knew was a girl. That's all I knew. And uh, I had wondered about her off and on all my life. Well, we talk a little bit. We that's about it. I mean, found out she lives in Quana. Yes, only six hours from here. Uh, right across from, she said down by Amarillo. Oh, that's why y'all were going out there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because uh, the nurse that was good friends with the rain. Okay. I had someone that was a doctor. Knew someone that needed the baby. And uh, I can't imagine she went all the way out there. Well, she's okay. I'm sure she did. She did. So she does have, what, well, she does have a, a words of daughter. She hmm. has a daughter with some of her doctors. Well, uh, we didn't get into that. Okay. We just talked about you and how you've done me in the past on things and how I call you Gloria instead of Mom because... Of things you've done and how you've acted toward me and the emotional abuse and Those few times, but then Charlotte grew up, and especially when we got down here where we both together, you know, it's just close. Charlotte said she, well, when you did, you were working. What age were you when y'all were working? What age were you when you got to work with Daddy? If I was like 18. Close to I was 18. Well, close to 20. Well, I ain't nowhere close to 20, but... 18 and 19 and 20, yes. Well, it's still... Oh, you don't think you're close to daddy? Daddy? Oh, you ain't. <laughs> oh, Rebecca. My baby, she lost to give me the bottle she Oh, you did. She didn't even set him... I can't bend over. She didn't set him around now. Oh. <clears throat> See, she 
you got tired of holding it, would you let him down? Uh -huh. See, buddy. And Rebecca, when you do that Gatorade bottle and that little, uh, what's that brown bottle, Douglas? Where's your brown bottle? When you get it and the, uh, when you get it and the uh, Gatorade bottle, when you put them here, okay? What's the name of that juice? That other one right there. Oh, yeah. She told me to get them. They need to put there. I don't know what you This is that powdered sugar. That's the only thing I had in here after waiting for powdered sugar. And all this started. Yeah, I'll take that called? Oh, that's vinegar. That was, what's it called? The bottle, the juice that came in. Palm one. Pomegranate, thank you. That's what it's called. She done lost the bottles. Uh, well, I have one of them, so that I can really hold on to that. I one. know we need to go home and sleep, but oh, you uh, oh yeah, y'all going to work in the morning? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, like I said, he didn't want that one. I was all for it. Of course, mother was going yeah, 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 but right in the ear, she didn't want me to, cause I said she wanted to raise another one. Well, her and dad, daddy didn't care. Daddy just loved all, all the girls. My daddy. Did you lose them? Well, go ahead and see where you dropped them. Well, she's yeah. trying to. She can't I'm find them. And bottle that one with two gallon balls and the, the Gatorade bottle. Gatorade. Gatorade's are good. I can hang on to them. But I have some more on the back of the sink there. You know, I mean, on the left side of the sink. Mm-hmm. In the bathroom in here, I have two more. Well, I'll go see if find them. And to anybody that works in child, uh, adult protective services, you see all this? See the cat shit? See how she lives? See how she lives? Somebody needs to come down here. I've called Adult Protective Services and they said she's fine. And see that raid? She sprays herself with raid. All right. Yeah. All right, Mom. Well, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get down there and go to bed. Yeah. What? Alright.
I don't know if y'all was able to hear all that, but she was mitigating herself, saying it was Marvin's fault that they gave the baby up for adoption, my stepsister, saying he didn't want kids, that he couldn't hold down a job. And that she wanted to keep the baby, but I don't believe anything she ever says. She's trying to mitigate herself because I was recording. That's how she does. Me, I'll tell you the damn truth about myself. All you gotta do is ask. Because me telling the truth about myself helps me become a better person. But as you can see too, the house is so dirty. If anybody works at Adult Protective Services and sees this video, come take her out of this house because it is terrible. And I got vehicles coming, so I'm getting in my car. But as she was saying, it's all Marvin's fault. He didn't want kids, this, that, and the other. Because she was talking so low on purpose. Because she's never that quiet. You can trust me on that. She is never that quiet. And she's saying, oh, you didn't know you had another sister? I thought you knew all this time. No, I never knew. I had heard rumors. And she said her and Marglo talked about it all the time. No, because Marglo didn't hear nothing about it until like a year before she passed. Was from, at least that's what Marglo told me. So I have no idea who's lying to me or what's going on. But I'm fan she's contacted me, so I'm going out to see her next week. And I'll let you know more. I tried to do Facebook Live, but her house is so old that the wiring in it makes the internet connection messed up. So. But yeah. I don't trust the words she says. Never have, never will. She tried to downplay the fact that the emotional and physical abuse she used to do on me. Many a time she took a belt to me, left bruises on me, or tried to punch me and I duck and she hit the wall behind me and knock a hole behind me in the wall. Or the story she told me of her shooting Marvin in the legs with a 22, which I don't know if that's true. And the fact that she told me she shot at her second husband, Charlie, with a 22, which I don't know. If she, and the fact that she pulled a gun on me in 2012 and put it to my head and pulled the trigger and the only reason why I ain't dead is because the gun misfired. It was a breakover and the action was loose. But we'll see what shows up in the video about her saying the stuff. Hopefully it picked it up. But she was trying to talk as low as she could like this so it wouldn't show up on video. So I could look like the asshole. Which is always her point in life, is to make other people look like the assholes. She's never the asshole. Out.